It's another hood nigga production, yo. Look, I've been on these stages. Through these books, I've been on these pages. Microphone or no microphone, I've heard this poet speak. And I can tell you the honest truth that none of them is full of shit. A young homie by the name of Silis told me to keep these poets writing. And I do exactly that and they like, Krimba Krumba, why are you always fighting? You have so much anger and hate, bitterness, as if these motherfuckers have had my taste. You have never been on my set. So rather focus on what you say on social media, cause they might scream grab your chat. Look, I've been to these shows. I've seen how this thing goes. This industry is super thin and cold. If it was a human being, it would be skin and bone. Look, in this struggle, I'm like a feminist woman. I'm strong, extreme, and bold. I'm too fucking dope to be still at home. I kept myself out of work just to free the dome. You know what happens when you run out of space in your phone. Nothing works. That's how it gets when you let pussy niggas in your zone. So look, not just with your eyes, but also with your mind. Don't just listen to the lines, but also follow the rhymes. I am not here to make friends or have fun. I am not here to change the world. Cause in order to do that, you need a briefcase, a smile and a gun. Just in case the first and the second don't work, the third will make any motherfucker run. So look, I am Krimba Krumba, the only one of my kind. One. It's another Hood Nigga production, yo. Welcome back to another Hood Nigga Productions, yo. Go we are live, HNP Studios, as we did. Today, we are bringing you another potent content. I'm Slan Jen Kelino Sanjalang, a Krimba Krumba, African warrior. Welcome to the show, Guerrilla. Black power. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, as per the tradition, go for our show, the artist here too comes in, introduces himself, and then ask a little more about what they do on a day to day basis and going forward. Guerrilla? Yes, nice you are it. You know, tell us about yourself. But keep hanging out, doing what you do. Going forward, what can I expect from Ukrimba Kum? Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah, Kamalamu, Lulamu, Gafunde, Ukrimba Krumba, Gekongeni. Yeah, Ukrimba Krumba, you protect the culture consciousness society, to be specific, because you are not during the university days after the formation of culture consciousness society. I provide a platform for him now. Be artistic, the ones who are expressing, who are in the end, in the cool and the cool. Same room to go and the next keep. So basically, life here is revolve around the art and the community activism. Those are my platforms where other artists also can express themselves with asking. So basically, for the past, I think from 2006. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I sent like my I was there, I was there from the beginning, Guerrilla. I was so long a university when we started culture consciousness society and then you decided we decided to take it to the the neighborhood. So uh look, Umla personal I've seen your growth. Yeah, I've seen he but omye umdu onga yazi onga kwazi yowena umtambi indoni what 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 inspired you to become part of a culture consciousness to actually go out and perform yeah i think the most important thing is i learn how you coming up is the knowledge we receive as a person but almost knowledge changes you if you bunga yazi indo kase uyazi you can't behave the same Sure. So now to introduce to about our final week. Then after reading, we have a study like self-reliance. A study like was written by the people. And yani sure. when we look around communities, it we realize that as a black people, yeah, we are in a shameful state. Sure. In all manners, we are suffering. So it's up to us to change such, which is what Obi Kona Banyabani were fighting for. So now I'm going to go. I was like, hey, since I got this message hard. 
how about I try and make it easy for my young boy for man? Yeah. If I had the poetry, the t-shirts and everything else that is possible. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So so basically art art has been has been your number one uh has been your number one tool to yeah. change to 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 change yourself, to transform yourself and also to transform others who are you know within your circle. Yes sir. Sure. And also I had to quit work for the way. Mm. And then I realize there are so many brothers who don't even have the opportunity for work, but mm. they got skills. But sure. they rather waste them, you know, it's going to environment many things, you know. However, um, now it's like, how about I try and pretend, but if I couldn't get work, mm. what was I going to do? And then I realize, yeah, I can cut stencil into t-shirts. Sure. Make a living, <laughs> yeah, but make a living out of it. But that alone is not enough. What was important was involvement with other people. I've been really? involved in so many communities, if I had, sure. not just poet. So the idea has been like, get involved. Okay. Now, now, if we if we take the discussion further, what do you think of Abandu who are saying or who are you know always chanting Black Power, Black Power, and you know Abani Bafunde, Othoma Sangara, Nyabona Nobiko, and yet uh, you still find them within employment. Uh, you still find them not actually doing anything for the community and for themselves, but they are still, you know, you know, ba ba kwazla pezul black power raising the first up. Alone. Yeah, Chairman, it's a, it's a dilemma, but mm. you know, Malcolm X put it simple. Mm. If you are working for your enemy, you are in a bad shape. Sure. Yeah. So it depends on what do you consider the system as. The way the system is designed is brutal to us as people. Sure. Therefore, it is a name. Even look at the education provided to us, the health, everything, Shaman, the type of security. Look how police do their yeah, boy sure. service. So all those things are brutal and you can't run away from such facts. Mm. Yeah, if you have money, I'm sure it's nice for you in South Africa. But if you do not have money, okay, it's pretty simple. If you do not have a job, mm. it's out for you. Because so now if you have to depend on such a system, meaning now you will oppress me because you're doing your job. Otherwise, you as a person, you cool with me, you love sure. me every day. But now, right now, you are a policeman and you have to grab me by the neck mm. and break my arm. Mm. Yeah. Now, going back, going back to to the art scene, especially mm. Apepa in the Eastern Cape, mm, you find that, okay, the, the, there are artists who, who share a different view of what black power is. Sure. And, and who feel that maybe uh, we, also, we are always uh, preaching the same thing, yeah, bo? Sure. Black power, you know, we are always referencing back to England, so Sangara, Obiko, Osobu, Malcolm X, and so forth. What do you have to say to such artists who have a different view? Nah, Jamai, it's simple. Mm. If we say, get out of the house because it's gonna burn, we can't change that up until people actually leave the house. Because as long as people like that, you can't change your message. The message is clear. Sure. Up, you mighty race. Mm. Rise. Yeah. Start like if women right now are on a revolution. Like women, be strong. Don't let anything. No man should talk to you this way, this way. There's nothing else they're gonna say. If you expect that women are gonna change things tomorrow, then you are in denial. Mm. Because as long as we keep doing what they don't want, then that's their revolution. Yeah. Yeah. So. No. Mm. The basis is that with everyone that is out there, you have a duty. Yeah, boy. You change it up until it's done. If it's not changed, then you, why change the desire to change? Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. You have a guy like a loud and clear. Yeah. And, you know, because that's the yeah, Even Ukavi himself said that happy my parents. So now, I personally have a ticket. I'm going to go to the ticket. Black Power Weekend. The Black Power Weekend initiative Yako Kerela. Yes, yourself and the Culture Consciousness Society but it's spearhead one who this thing. Yes, right. Uh, what inspired this Black Power Weekend? Because uh, it's gonna be happening on the 29th of March. This will call up off the 28th. the 29th of March. It's called Black Power Weekend. Is this part of also self-transformation, self-reliance as well? Yeah, you see Jamal. 
Black Power Weekend is strictly in what it is. Mm. The weekend where Black Power is shown. Sure. Because all of this is not possible without the unity. Sure. You see, we're not picking up guns and knives and going and stab people and shoot them. No. Mm. We're picking up books. Sure. We are reading now. We yeah. are actually cleaning up our streets. Not making yeah. them dungeons for criminals, but mm. rather make them safe spaces where kids can come and enjoy themselves yeah. with their parents. Yeah. So Black Power Weekend is starting on the 27th from Friday till Sunday. Mm. The whole weekend we are locking down Kabati Street, Jamal. Yeah. You see jumping castles for the kids. We put up tents to make sure that everyone is actually entertained mm. and having fun. Artists of PE who are trying to bring their names up are going to be there and they're going to express themselves. Okay. You see. Kirill, I know that there's a lot to talk about, sure. uh, but briefly, can you just tell us who's on the lineup? Yeah, on the lineup, for Friday, we have in Tabati's very own Sheila's. Sheila's. Young boys. They've <laughs> yeah, been with us for some guess, years yeah. now, so they're going to be making sure Friday is happening. Sheila's. Right? Yeah, and the uh, Mighty Queen, Manja Makulu. Mm. She'll be placing the stages once more. Yeah. She was there on the first annual one. I remember. This is the second annual one. She's going to yeah. be with us again, blessing us with her beauty. And then we're going to go to Saturday. Saturday is a hip hop. Mm. Yeah, boy, it's the year of the hip hop. We have the likes of Black Seed Level. We have the likes of Fantastic Four from Unique, M16. Mm. We have Ujo, mm. Culture's Own, Ligo the Scapegoat. Yeah. So, yeah, it's happening. Hectic. Mm. And then. We have to also get something like on Sunday it's poetry. Mm. So we are focusing on people like Osilis, Temela Queeny. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yo, 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 yo. In my because you know what? There's so much to talk about. But anyways, for more information about you can uh, get a hold of you know HNP subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, uh Krimba Krumba on Facebook. As well as a uh, Tabang OG Mulapo. Oh, load setting again. Yeah, excuse me, your mouse has come. You know what? Busa style like ever. Who is on the lineup? We play Power Weekend. We call it a man. Just nigga magam. Yes, eh. Play Power Weekend. Friday, in Jobe Sen Chilo, we have Mkabati's very own Ichilazi. Ichilazi, what I'm saying. Accompanied by the greatest mighty Manja Makulu. She's blessing us. And then on Saturday, Saturday is hip hop. Mm -hmm. And then we have M16, Black Seed, we have Ujo, Liga the Scapegoat. Mm -hmm. Sunday is poetry. We have Tembela Queenie. We have Usili's essay. We have Usana Lomkuba, we have Fefeza, Yo. so and many more, but it's gonna be an epic weekend. Sure. Tickets go for 30 rand for Saturday and 30 rand for Sunday. Yo, win yourself some tickets. Give us tell about Krimba Krumba. This is the best artist has mentioned. Just give us two names. Comment in the comment section on YouTube. Put Nika Productions and stand a chance to win one of the four tickets. It's now so up as a play power weekend. Nunga Sali, Hood Nika Productions. Guerrilla. Now I'm a ticket to spice on now. Yes, now we're full support. We're now about to step into a great vision. We're going to join the culture consciousness society. We're going to push a song. We're going to sing songs. We're going to about business. We're going to mention that. Yes, and we're going to meet in our framework. We're going to come over. And I even remember the person who passed on. Who, in fact, who gave you the skill. Yes. Black man, you are on your own. This is Bandu Biko coming back home. Cause a people without a knowledge of their past history and origin is like a tree without roots. And anything that you hear from now on will be nothing but the truth. Cause I bite from no one but Marcus Garvey. I'm a black star, so Kwame Nkrumah gotta love me. You can call me Tupac cause I rap to emancipate you from the same people that taught you how to hate you even though in the beginning they were the first to rape you Amilka Cabral and Thomas Sangara in one all the way to Tanzania I'm Julius Nyerere with a gun Samora Michelle in the sky even if the plane crashes I will never die Kalushi Mashangu with the rope on my neck. Jeff Masemula was the hope for the black. All the way to Botswana to tell Uncle Potsetiro there's a bomb on that pack. 
defiant Lumumba staring at multiple rifles. He was an activist, he was a soldier, he had multiple titles. So who is he to me and who is he to you? Even though we are living free, there's still a lot we need to do. Cause he said so himself that one day history will have its say. And here I am today and I'm speaking history and I'm speaking victory cause I'm already winning and this is just the beginning. Sabelo Pama homie, I'm back from the dead. Zephania Motopeng homie, I rap for the bread. So welcome to the struggle, welcome to the hustle. Now go out there and get yours, don't let them get you puzzled. Cause up in Namibia, the Herero people, that's a genocide committed by the Nazi. So don't be surprised when you don't find me at Kalani, rocking Lifati. One. It's another hood nigga production, yo.